This is the setup for uh, Duck Chapter 9 Bankruptcy. Duck Chapter 9 Bankruptcy. This is a uh, test shot. So, uh, explaining Duck Chapter 9 Bankruptcy or hashtag Duck CH9 BK. So, let me repeat that hashtag Duck CH9 BK. And what it is, is it's Ducking Chapter 9 Bankruptcy avoiding entrepreneurship bankruptcy. And entrepreneurship bankruptcy is specialized in that it's not exactly a fire sale or a chapter 7 traditional or chapter 11 traditional bankruptcy. Startup bankruptcy, which I term as actually incorrectly as chapter 9 bankruptcy, is startup bankruptcy. And the reason it's incorrect is it's actually not a legal phrase, but it's a uh, startup Silicon Valley lingo terminology, which is Chapter 9 Entrepreneurship Bankruptcy. So let me repeat, hashtag duck chapter, duck CH9 BK is avoiding this phrase, assignment for benefit of creditors. Assignment for benefit, grab a pen, grab a pen, grab a pen. Assignment for benefit of creditors, that's what you're avoiding. So that's what this video series is going to uh, be with ducking Chapter 9 bankruptcy. I'm explaining the hashtag Duck CH9 BK. Let me repeat. It's Duck D U C K 9 Duck CH9 Bank BK. So what you're avoiding is chapter 9 bankruptcy, which is startup bankruptcy. Chapter 9 of my book is entrepreneurship. So you're avoiding entrepreneurship bankruptcy. Hashtag Duck CH9 BK. When you're a startup you don't file traditional Chapter 7 or Chapter 11 bankruptcy. You're filing a uh, more special form of, of going out of business, which is called assignment for benefit of creditors. Assignment for benefit of creditors. And what that does is that enables you to do a special, specialized form of going out of business, which still stinks because you still want to avoid ABC. So you really want to duck ABC. But ABC kind of doubles as American-born Chinese, so that was confusing. That's why I went with duck ch 9 bk And that hashtag uh, itemizes all the tip strategies, techniques, and ideas to try to get your startup to not have to go bankrupt. Hair and makeup, please. <laughs> Bankruptcy ruins your credit. And when your credit is ruined, that's what Duck9, my company that I make money with, does. Is You want to avoid nines on your credit report. Similarly, you want to duck Chapter 9 Bankruptcy. Hashtag duck CH9BK. The key to, to your startup doing well is an extrapolation of this genius book. It's called Cross the Chasm. And Cross the Chasm has a concept that has not been publicized. And that's called Cross the Chasm from the Right. Cross the Chasm from the Right. There's a hashtag for that. CTC FTR. The initials were Cross the Chasm from the Right. So that's a sub hashtag to duck ch 9 bk Cross the chasm from the right allows you to gain adoption and sell into mainstream. And there's a 35 step tactical recipe and protocol that I've outlined in CTC FTR. In some of the fundamentals of ducking nines, which I have a ton of experience doing, 
is a concept of 1111, which is ones are on time payments. This applies to entrepreneurship because you want to build miniature wins when you're teetering on bankruptcy. Most people when they're teetering on startup bankruptcy and trying to duck CH9BK, they are actually trying to hit a home run when the probability of hitting a home run is nearly near zero. So you want to start building small, small things that you can do, you can do immediately, which I've documented inside the hashtag DuckCH9BK. Avoiding startup death, avoiding startup death spiral is, is what you're trying to do. And when I'm talking about avoiding startup death spiral, there's a sequence of four bitlies that you want to write down. Bitly being a short, short code URL. And that's bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash, this is avoiding startup death spiral, grab a pen, avoiding startup death spiral, bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash S blank, 710. That's introducing the concept of startup death spiral. Let me repeat bit.ly slash s blank s steve blank 710. And then the following one is bit.ly slash s blank 711. And it goes to 713. Those four URLs. What kills the majority of startups is lack of growth. And when the funding runs out, there's just no shot at you doing well. So when you're talking about growth, the, the protocol that no one adheres to because it's too menial is EUTWM PPM. I'm not gonna repeat that. You're gonna have to press rewind on this YouTube. Just kidding. EUTWM PPM, E-U-T-W-M, PPM. It should scare you that I memorize those random things. And that's because I say it a lot because it works every time. The next thing that I'm doing, oh, all I do is regurgitate mentors. So, uh, Duck CH9BK, that's from Marty Pitchinson. Uh, Duck9, that's from Jerry Detweiler. E-U-T-W-M, PPM. Uh, Duck CH nine BK. Those are from Mark McCormack. In addition to thirty three other signature business recipes, and when I'm saying I regurgitate mentors, that's because I'm a really really good mentee. You can get it directly from them. Marty Pitchinson, Jerry Detweiler, Mark well, Mark McCormack via book because he's passed away. But those three is a triumvirate of awesome mentors. I was given a giant IQ so that way your startup, okay, wouldn't die. I know that sounds kind of douchey, 